Good day everyone. Today I'm going to show how to test a bridge rectifier diode. I have a, here an example of the actual bridge diode and its rated value is KBPC5010. It means that this rectifier diode has a maximum capacity to handle a current of 50 amperes and can operate at a maximum of 1,000 volts. Now, a bridge rectifier diode is consists of four diodes housed inside this casing. As you can see in the schematic diagram, okay, it has four rectifier diodes. And then, if we have this actual, it looks like that or somehow uh, it is decomposition it's how it's composed I mean okay now in testing a bridge rectifier diode uh, we should know what is forward biasing and reverse biasing because in performing or through, I mean through performing this forward biasing and reverse biasing we can identify whether a bridge rectifier diode is in good condition or defective. Okay? So, in conducting a forward biasing, we have to connect the block test probe to the anode of the bridge rectifier diode, then the red test probe to the cathode just like that here okay also here here just like that and then the needle pointer should deflect to the right but it should not reach zero it should be something here or here but it should not reach zero okay that is forward biasing on the other hand, a reverse biasing, we have to connect the red test probe to the anode while the black test probe to the cathode, just like this, during reverse biasing. Okay? Just like that. Okay? Just nyan. Ganyan. Okay? And the needle pointer should not deflect, meaning it should remain in the infinity mark in here. Now, what does it mean? When a diode is in forward bias, there is current flow. That is the so-called, there is one direction flow of current. While in reverse biasing, there should be no, okay, no current flow. Because in the previous blog that I made, I mentioned there that a diode is a semiconductor device that allows current to flow in one direction. That flow of current in one direction is called forward bias. While the other direction that has no current flow is called reverse bias. So, I have here a label, good bridge rectifier diode. Okay, we will now perform the testing of the bridge rectifier diode. All we need is an analog multitester. We set it to times 10. Then, we short the test lead of the test probe make sure that we adjust the zero ohm adjuster adjust it to zero or set the pointer deflection to zero for us to have a correct judgment of the component under test now we will now perform the forward biasing okay we will just uh, place it here 
for you to be guided okay as you can see based on the diagram okay I patterned that uh, drawing to this actual rectifier diode okay by the way this side is called positive positive output and then this side here is negative okay and then this part here is for AC input also here AC input okay AC input AC input then negative positive by the way the word rectifier it means to change to convert okay now from this AC okay as it goes in through this bridge re rectifier diode the output will be the so-called pulsating DC it's not a pure DC but it's still pulsating DC but somehow the the alternating current voltage has been changed has been rectified okay now we will now do the forward biasing test okay in a forward biasing test we have to connect the black test prod to the anode in here uh, let's start here to the anode then the red test prod to the cathode okay then observe the pointer deflection now there is a pointer deflection meaning there is a flow of current that is forward biasing next after this part then you move okay here so take note this is the anode okay this is the cathode here okay and then the next terminals to be tested is here anode then cathode so red test prod is placed here then the black test prod is here there should be a pointer deflection because it is in forward bias okay now we move the red test prod here okay based on the diagram we move the red test prod here at the cathode then while the black test prod to the anode side and there is a pointer deflection okay next test we test the forward bias of the negative side and then the AC terminal okay in here block the spread because this is the anode block the spread here then the cathode is placed here there should be a pointer deflection okay so meaning this bridge rectifier diode has a good forward bias now after doing the forward biasing we do the reverse biasing in reverse biasing we have to connect the red test prod to the anode let's start here anode place the red test prod here then the black test prod here and it says there needle pointer should not deflect to the right so there is no pointer deflection it is in reverse bias because there is no current flow okay next we place the red test probe here at the anode while the block to the cathode terminals here cathode then anode still there is no pointer deflection okay then the red test prod to the anode 
then black into the cathode there is no pointer deflection there is no flow of current and then next we have this uh, terminal here anode connected to the red test probe then the black test probe is connected here there is no pointer deflection because that is in reverse bias now if that's the case it indicates that this bridge rectifier diode is in good condition because it only allows the current to flow in one direction so the in the other direction there should be no current flow okay it's clear and now i have an example of a defective uh, diode also bridge diode this is a bridge diode i just uh, take it off from a portable welding machine that i have been working on okay so as you can see it has the same uh, orientation mm -hmm. now we will check its condition we will perform the forward biasing first when we do the forward biasing black test prod to the anode then red test prod to the cathode as you can see there is a pointer deflection okay that is good now next okay we place the black test prod to this side here okay there is a forward bias there is a flow of current here the next okay we place the black test prod here at the anode then at the cathode is the red test prod oh, see as you can see the pointer deflection indicates a zero okay because if we will compare it to the good one okay here this is the good one you observe the pointer deflection it does not reach zero it's only up to five or slightly below five while here mm -hmm, it reaches the zero so in that case you can have a conclusion okay this bridge diode is already defective now let's continue forward biasing paren okay now there is also a zero ohm resistance mm, by the way we uh, set it to zero again okay then zero it reaches zero mm -hmm. so it means that the anode and the cathode terminals have been connected internally connected now we perform the reverse bias in doing the reverse bias test we place the red test prod to the anode then the black test prod into the cathode there is no pointer deflection here it's good and then steady the black test prod okay from here that's it that's in reverse bias then move the red test prod here there is no pointer deflection okay then we place this black test prod to the cathode terminal here and then the red test prod here again it reaches zero that is in reverse bias we, which is supposedly there should be no pointer deflection just like this one oh. good this is in good condition it is in reverse bias Mm -hmm. 
reverse bias. No pointer deflection. In here, there is a pointer deflection if it, uh, even if it is in reverse bias. You can now see the difference. This is the good one and this is the bad one. Okay, let's continue. The red test prod connected to the anode and then the black test prod connected to the cathode here. As you can see, there is a pointer deflection and it reaches zero. So it means here that uh, this diode here, okay, is shorted. Meaning the cathode terminal and negative and the anode terminal has been internally shorted. Also here, these terminals here, the cathode and the anode terminals has been internally shorted. Therefore, this diode here, or this bridge diode, uh, rather, is called bad uh, bridge rectifier, defective. Okay, what is the problem here? This is a shorted. Okay, shorted. Which part is shorted? Negative, then AC. Okay, take note that this is the negative side. Okay, then you, you look at the tester, I, I mean the pointer deflection negative and AC there is a pointer deflection that is in forward bias okay mm. forward bias revert reverse bias so as you can see both biasing has a pointer deflection in that case this bridge rectifier diode is already defective Therefore, it should not be used. It should be discarded from the circuit. We will replace that with this new one. Okay, again, one more time, we will compare it. This is the good one. This is the bad one. This is the good. This is the shorted. Okay. Forward bias. Here. Reverse bias, there is a pointer deflection, and here no pointer deflection. Forward bias, here, there is a pointer deflection, no pointer deflection. Why? Because this is in reverse bias. I mean, this is in reverse bias. Forward bias, there is a pointer deflection here, then here. There is a pointer deflection, but it does not reach zero. It indicates a resistance. Here. Mm -hmm. Forward, reverse. That's a good diode. Okay. Forward. Okay. Forward bias. Reverse bias. That's a good diode. And here. Forward bias. Reverse bias. Forward bias. Reverse bias. That's a good diode. And here, both forward bias and reverse bias has a pointer deflection. So, this is a shorted bridge rectifier diode. Specifically, the negative side and the AC side are shorted. Therefore, this rectifier diode must be replaced. This should be discarded. That's all. I know you have learned something. And then, if you have learned something today, please do me a favor. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for you to be notified for the latest uploaded videos. Thank you very much for watching. God bless.